Remembering why and how. Almost everyone is angry with one's memory once in a while. Some are bad at recognizing faces, some cannot remember formulas, and others struggle with historical dates. But most of the people remember advertisements, bits of songs on the streets, and names of popular persons. It happens because of the very cunning mechanism that our brain uses to remember things. First of all, a message for everyone. Not all your memory is bad. Throughout your life, you learn a lot of things without even really thinking about it. Eat, walk, love. It is all in the domain of an accomplished team of brain areas that are responsible for implicit memory. What we actually notice remembering is called declarative memory. And to declare the memory into the brain is difficult. Before everything, the nerve cells consider anything worth remembering only when it creates enough impact. In other words, you have to impress every neuron in the bunch enough to make all of them perform severe remodeling, building more structures, creating more electrical current, and form new connections with neighboring cells, making complicated yellow brick roads through different brain areas. In case of declarative memory, the Emerald City for all the yellow brick roads is a small, deeply hidden structure called hippocampus. Hippocampus is a crucial general manager for new memories. Cut it out and it will be hard for you to even remember what you did yesterday. Its role is to gather the data from the main departments – sight, touch, smell, sound, taste, as well as emotion and meaning. Look at it at every angle, and then break it down into zillion pieces. Like a child sorting up marbles, the pieces are said to be placed into puzzle structures that contain things of similar properties, like meaning, color, and smell. As a person grows up, his or her brain is slowly forming a memory gallery of avant-garde puzzle paintings, and each new piece is fitted with similar shaped previous parts. When the memory is being recalled, hippocampus and the surrounding areas take out the treasure map of associations and spring into action, getting pieces out using several parallel lanes. There is a long road between your perceptions and the final memory puzzle. At first, the brain just keeps the information online for mere seconds, deciding what to do with it. Scrap it? or send it further. It is called sensory memory. The memory that was considered to have enough impact and influence is sent to a temporary warehouse, short-term memory. And if the memory has enough useful connections, impact, and influence, it, like an honorable gentleman, enters the hallowed gallery of long-term memory. So to place a memory into the gallery and get it out in time, we need to pay attention. Attention adds intensity and impact to new mentioned before. Different kinds of memory should be created all at once, using all the major departments like senses and emotions. More departments, more roads to the main city of Hippocampus are being used. Do not only read, write the information down or make a model of it with items nearby. Also, try to find something likable and interesting in what you are learning. Do not forget to revise and repeat, so the memory would safely pass through the preliminary storage areas. Healthy diet is good for memory as well. By the way, how many brick roads did we just use to help you make a memory about your memory?